Why not, right? Sure. I say dogs are man's best friend. Hey, Sam, you might want to come over here, by the way. All right, uh, say so dogs are a man's best friend, but many people leave out that canines might be one of our best life instructors as well. Inspirational, an inspirational columnist and author, Catherine Galasso Vigorito, gives us some of the life lessons we can learn from our dogs. Welcome again. Thank you, Jeff. All right, first of all, tell us about uh, your dog here, Chloe, that you brought with you. Here's Chloe. She's a little chihuahua, and there's so many lessons that our pets can teach us, and we love animals so much, but dogs in particular can teach us a lot of life lessons. All right, and I know you have a lot to go through, so yes. let's get going. The first one being, when loved ones come home, always run to greet them. And one thing that you can do is maybe around the dinner table or when your loved one comes home, say, tell me something good that happened today. Tell me who did a kind deed. I usually do that when the kids get off the bus from school to just kind of bring the conversation in a more positive direction. The second lesson that dogs can teach us is to really grab the moment and never pass up the opportunity to go for a joy ride. Isn't that right? Yes. Yes. It's Always so good. Oh, I know. Especially Here's, on a nice oh, summer baby. day. Oh, baby. Chloe. All right. <laughs> Mommy, take you. But um, so one thing that you could do is in the next 10 years, yeah. okay, if you wake up just two hours earlier a day, in yeah. the next 10 years, you can add an additional hour, uh, an additional year to your life. Of productivity and, and... A whole year to your life. If okay. in the next 10 years, you wake up just two hours earlier a day, an entire year. How, how about that? The next one is my favorite. And listen, if a dog wants something that lies buried, dig until you find it. So it really means persistence. So what I did, and you know what? I'll just give it right to you here, All right, Jeff. so... Um, there... So dig. Keep on digging for well, what you the, want. The point is, don't give up. You're close to success. Keep going forward. If you keep yep. going and you keep digging, you just might find you your dreams a, and goals. You ever seen a dog on a scent? You know that they just do not <laughs> give up. Yes, I just love like Chloe, that. Right? I love that. Right. Uh, the next tip is really delight in the simple joy of a long walk. And start a walking habit. To walk to a destination. I know my daughter and I, we love to walk to the beach, walk to a high school track, walk to, you know, if it rains, Sam, uh, <laughs> <laughs> walk on the treadmill, dog walk. You'll just feel better and have just so much more energy. Okay, well that's a perfect, and, and also I, I noticed you talk about yes. being an original. Every dog is their own dog, right? Every dog is an original just like every person is an original. So always be yourself. One thing that you can do is keep a framed childhood photograph of yourself, maybe by your office desk, and let it be a reminder of really who you are, mm -hmm. your authenticity and your fervor for life. And then maybe write down three or four traits that you like about yourself. Slip the paper maybe in your wallet or day timer as a reminder of really who you are. Perfect. And this one I really like too because yes. dogs are unconditional lovers. Absolutely. And they know when you're having a, a rough day. That's true. So if someone's having a bad day, sit close by them and nuzzle them gently. What you could do is maybe sit on the couch, have some nice coffee, and you could make a positive thoughts scrapbook. What you can do is you can fill your scrapbook with mementos, email forwards, pictures of maybe people that are, you know, very special to you, and then you can look at it when you need to be uplifted. And Perfect. lastly... The piece de resistance, which I love because dogs enjoy simple pleasures. They do. They do. They are grateful for their blessings. And dogs really celebrate each day. And today, yeah. we are celebrating Sam's birthday. That was last week. It was last week, yeah. And yep. I know I am grateful for Sam. I'm very thankful for you, Jeff, Benny, Thank and you. all the great people here at News 8. So we're celebrating you today. Yeah. This is this guy we're is going to have party. Thank you. <laughs> this guy is the wind beneath while well, he's the wind, the weather, and the, the hot, the humid beneath my wings. Yes, and he's so sweet to my girls. They come with me. They're like my little production they assistants. They are. They're great. So Sam is awesome. Including our latest TV star here, Chloe. Chloe. And she's been a good girl, right? <laughs> That's right. She's been so good. Aww. Anyway, we sure appreciate you coming in, Catherine. Great right. lessons, of course, from, our, from dogs. They're everywhere. Thank Enjoy you. Enjoy watching them and take a cue from them as well.